I've been watching a lot of the History Channel uh, lately. There have been some wonderful documentaries on, of course, the anniversary, the 100th anniversary of World War I and some marvellous programs on the World Wars in general. But one disturbing one that I saw about a fellow named John Raba, you might know or not know. Now, he was in China in the 1930s working for Siemens, you know, the electronics company Siemens. They go back that far. And he was responsible for saving possibly 300,000, between 200 and 300,000 Chinese from the atrocities of the Japanese at the time. Now, the Japanese just rampaged across China massacring people. It was just hideous and as bad as anything that happened in Nazi Germany. But the interesting thing was that Raba was a member of the Nazi party. In fact, he was a supporter of Hitler. He thought the Fuhrer was fantastic, not knowing, of course, because he was living in China, what was going on with the Jews in Germany in, from the early 1930s onwards. Now, the parallel is this. What's going on now in Iraq and Syria with the ISIL, ISIS, Islamic State, whatever you want to call them, is the equal of that sort of atrocity. Barbaric things like beheading people, rape and torture, and what's, it's just hideous. And we're talking about it now. This happened in the 1930s. Now, Europe didn't do anything about Adolf Hitler, and Winston Churchill knew, he warned them, and that something could have been done, and it wasn't. So the word panic is being used in association with what our Prime Minister is doing, Tony Abbott. Now, is it panicking or just a measured response? Do we really care that Australians with Australian passports born here are going over there, hundreds of them, to fight for these jihadists? We should care, shouldn't we? I would have thought it's a measured response, not panic. Now, if the other side of politics, be it Labor Party, Greens or any of the crossbenchers, are using the word panic, I don't think Tony Abbott's doing that. That old expression, you know, when good men do nothing, evil flourishes, is certainly true. Now, and the parallels are, are really quite striking. Hitler, well, could he have been stopped? I don't know. But no attempt was made. And one of the documents, I think in the Raba documentary, there's this really eerily disturbing shot of the people doing the salute at the 1936 Berlin Games in the stadium. Now, it was only two or three years later that Hitler started rampaging across Europe. And there are a lot of people who are very concerned about him then and did nothing. So should we do nothing now about the Islamic State? Is that what people are suggesting? I don't think so.